flames and heavy smoke engulf a warehouse in southwest Baltimore. Well, right now, firefighters remain on the scene. Crews say Mother Nature made it difficult to extinguish with winds helping to fan the flames. WJZ is live there now. Avajoy Burnett has the latest on efforts finally to put out this fire. Avajoy? Denise, good evening to you. The fire started just before four this afternoon. Now, seven hours later, crews are still here on the scene. The flames originated here, but the smoke was visible for blocks. All units responding in on a third alarm. Staging is now at Pulaski and Frederick. This vacant warehouse went up in flames. And a lot of visible fire. As the evening went on, the conditions inside what was becoming a hollowed out building off Frederick Avenue near Smallwood only got worse. The smoke, wind, and fire made this a challenging job. Seems like every time they, you know, get a hold of it, it starts blowing up with the wind and everything. It's, you know, it's that's what's causing the problems is the wind. At this crossroads, we have the vacant warehouse that's on fire. We have businesses and then homes, and that's why the chief warned people to keep their doors and windows shut to keep the smoke out. I don't even know where it came from. Just this whole bunch of smoke out of nowhere is covering old streets. Bystanders watched in awe, and the fire kept flaring up. It's very labor intense. Uh, these types of situations are. Chief Roman Clark says crews have been monitoring the air quality here to make sure it's safe. But the biggest challenge has been getting those hot spots and knocking out the fire that just kept on reigniting. Without a question, they're equipped to be here till tomorrow morning if need be, and, and they will have relief to come in. And that's the way it is. Once again, investigators say the building was vacant, but they had to get the fire under control first before they could even think about starting an investigation. Reporting live in Southwest Baltimore, Avajoy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Avajoy.